Introduction to Innovation Management. Innovation management can be illustrated in this uh, conversation of two executives. My team is having trouble taking out set of bags. We can agree on the size of the bags, what materials the bags should be constructed from, a reasonable budget for the bags, or our first choice of bags vendors. In this conversation, innovation management reminds us that in every organization, there will always be a need to think outside the box in order to come up with a new idea or the new ways of doing things. It would be very difficult for organization to survive in a highly competitive market if it fails to innovate. Thus, innovation management is very important for organization both for its sustainability and for its success. Characteristics of successful innovating of companies. One, there is a systematic collection of all impulses that could lead to innovation. There is creativity of employees, ability to evaluate the possibility of the innovation idea. There is a good teamwork. There is project-based approach and ability to manage projects. There is cooperation with external experts such as universities, research laboratories, proper rate of risk taking, employees' motivation. The employees are willing to improve the product and operation of the whole company. There is continued education of employees, ability to finance the innovation activities. What is innovation? An innovation is considered performed if it is introduced to the market, or that's what we call product innovation or implemented in a production process, or that's what we call process innovation. Innovation includes many research, technological, organizational, financial, and commercial activities. Classification of innovations or system, new series of cars, planes, computers, television, new generations with MP3 and download as substitution of CD, steam engine, ICD, biotechnology, nanotechnology, improvement of components, new components for existing systems, advanced materials, improving component properties, and then for incremental, do better what we already do, new for the company, and radical new for the world. Innovation categories. The first category of innovation is sustaining, that is better products that can be sold with higher margin to the money customers, incumbents win. Another category of innovation is disruptive. Commercialization of simple, more user-friendly products, which are cheaper and targeted new or less demanding customers, new entrants win. Key elements of disruption. Customers at each market has limited absorption capacity. Technological progress usually is uh, faster than the ability of the market to employ it. Companies are focused on better products to be sold with higher margin to unsatisfied customers. Sustaining against disruptive. Sustaining focus on demanding customers, both incremental and radical. Incumbents have resources and motivation. While disruptive introduces products and services not as advanced as existing ones, but offering other advantages as a simpler, cheaper, more user-friendly, and focus on new or less demanding customers. Two types of disruption, new markets and a low end. For new markets, compete with non-consumption, simpler, more user-friendly, can be used by less sophisticated customers, such as, for example, PC, transistor radio desk copiers for low end focus on lower tires of main markets mini mills discount stores korean automakers motivate incumbents to leave the market sources of innovation impulses for the internal environment we have our own research and development technical divisions such as design and technology production innovations such as production provision of services marketing and sales, logistics, purchase and supplies, guarantee and post-guarantee service and orders. 
for external environment, these are the source of elevation imposes. One is customers, suppliers, competitors, consultants, research and development institutions, schools, universities, professional publications, internet, exhibitions, affairs, specialized seminars, and conferences, advertising agencies, investors, media, authorized testing, laboratories, certification agencies, state institutions, public sector, legislation, and globalization. Market pool, research and development pools. For market pool, looking for the best way of satisfying a newly emerging customer demand, improvement of the existing products, extension of the existing offer or decrease of price, impulses for continuous incremental innovations or for process innovations. Research and development pools, looking for commercial use of new impulses resulting from their research and development results generating of new markets for conceptually different products. Open innovation. Chesbro AIDS, Open Innovation, Harvard Business School Publishing, Boston, MA, 2003. Close innovation requires control. Open innovation, companies use external as well as internal ideas in both external and internal ways to market. Internal ideas can be taken to the market through external channels to generate additional value. Company innovation potential. A company with high innovation potential scores high in the following areas. One is strategy and planning. Second is marketing. Third is technological process, quality management, logistics, and human resources. Innovation potential assessment. For a company, it is important to know its innovation potential. It can use the questionnaire. For every of the six areas, there are six questions, each with four possible answers. The answers are formulated so that they reflect the existing situation in the company. One is strategy and planning. And this includes the following, idea about the company future, vision and employees, company, company innovation programs, plan modifications, financial indicators of the plan, and project management. Second is marketing, and this includes the following components. Monitoring of current market trends, evaluation of the market competition position, customer orientation, monitoring of customers' attitudes to the company product, market information flow inside the company, and marketing and financial control. Third is technological process. This includes the following components, future companies competitiveness in the industry, changes of technologies, collection of impulses for implementation of technology changes, evaluation of the return on investment, calculation of uh, production cost and monitoring, and creation of resources for development. Fourth is quality environment. This includes the following components, monitoring of changes, conditioning the quality management in the company, employees' personal contributions to the quality system, external quality audit in the company, monitoring of the environmental impact, impact of quality monitoring of the company processes. And sixth, covering of costs resulting from modifications of standards, regulations, and legislation, the sphere of quality and environment.